Today I want to talk about two common myths regarding wills and dying without a will. Have you ever heard that if you die without a will, that the state gets all of your property when you die? Have you ever heard that if you die and you're married, that your spouse automatically gets all of your property when you die? Both of those things are false. My name is Laura Hurd, and I have been helping families divide up property upon divorce or death and get through the probate process in the state of Texas since 1987. Many times I've heard, especially older people say, if you die without a will, the state gets all your property. That is not true, although it is sometimes true. If you die without a will, there is a statute that says that your relatives have a right to certain property, but it is not necessarily what you would have wanted to have done with your property. And if your relatives don't step up and put up the money and go to probate court and go through the hassle of proving who your relatives are, then that property will be abandoned and it will go to the state. On the other hand, if you have a blended family, you may have children outside the relationship with your spouse who are entitled to a large chunk of your property even though you're totally estranged from them and haven't talked to them in decades. So the best thing to do is to have a will. It's easy to make a will. It is so much easier than you think it is. Don't overthink it. Call me. Let me ask you a few simple questions and we can get a will done for you so much easier than you think. And it will save your loved ones so much money and so much hassle. And it will ensure that your property goes where you want after you die.